Welcome back Bumper Media fans. This is Andre from BMW Blog and today I'm at BMW Auto House looking at the 2025 BMW X3 M50. We just got this today and I wanted to make a quick video to show you what I think about it and some cool features about the car. So starting off you can see the headlights, they're completely redesigned. You got some lights in here I think for nighttime driving and you got these two LED strips that go along the whole headlight. That's pretty cool. You got the same design on the inside there as you do on the outside. That's pretty neat. You got this massive kidney grill that's illuminated and you've got some slits in here that allows air to go into the engine. And behind this spot here you got some radar sensors, that's pretty cool. You got the front camera washer, this pops out and it'll Wash the front camera, that's pretty neat. Looking at the side profile, the car is about 3.5 centimeters longer than the previous generation. It's over 2 centimeters wider, but it's about 2.5 centimeters lower, so it gives you better driving dynamics and handling. Really like these rear taillights. They look very similar to the X5. You got that X design. You got these nice design there. Pretty cool, you got the M50 designation. No more I, just M50. You got the rear camera washer right there. You can kick to open the trunk, I just don't have the key with me, it's inside. You got the quad exhaust, nice piano black diffuser. I like the top rear spoiler as well, that's pretty neat. You got the piano black here, black shadow line along the whole side of the car, black roof liner. Black mirror caps. You got these nice black wheels with the silver um, specks in there that kind of looks like a transformer, as Horatio said. And we also have the red M Sport brakes, really cool. Another thing with the front, you can see on the hood, these lines don't accentuate all the way. They literally stop right here. It gives it a cleaner look, in my opinion. On the inside, wow, this is nice. I really. I really, really like these lights here. You got this new control dial here that's haptic touch. It's touch sensitive, pretty cool. This controls your vents, lock, unlock. Then you can set your driver, um, your seating profile. Got some piano black here. Interesting use of material, but that is super sharp. Look how sharp this is. Right. Got the Harman Kardon sound system. Flat bottom steering wheel with the M stitching, very nice. I really like these seats, that's pretty cool. It looks like it's a mix of like the, the new Alcantara material with the new Sensatec leather. That's also got the M stitching down the side here, that's pretty neat. They really did a good job at hiding the air vents. So there's an air vent here. There's an air vent a little bit there. Air vent on the side there. And the air vent here. Now you can control the air vent by sliding this to open and close the door, but how to direct the air, you've got these little notches here, and you can actually see right on top there how it's moving left and right. It's pretty nice. Oh, I like this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me have a quick look at this lighting. This look, does this not look 3D to you guys? Check that out. Check that out. Wow, let me change the color, holy. Let's go back to my modes. Let's go to expressive. Oh, cool. Let's change it back to personal. Ah, okay, I see. They basically, it's like a design and the glass. I don't know, but it looks pretty cool. Let me change this color. I'm not a fan of this color. So we're gonna quickly show you how to change your color on the ambient lighting. Now, instead of going through like the long way and finding the ambient lighting through here, literally click this button right there. It's going to take you to the ambient air, uh, the ambient lighting section. And then here we can go to ambient lighting, go to color, and then change your color. So you don't have to go through the whole menu to do that. You literally, literally click that button right there. And there's like 15 colors to choose from. It's pretty neat. That's with the iDrive 9. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Uh, the cluster here is pretty neat. You've got the same curved display as we've had for the, like, the last year in the BMW models. Uh, you've got your boost function here. So if you hold that for two seconds, you'll get about 10 seconds of extra boost. I don't know exactly how much horsepower you'll get with the boost on the new X3, but I'm sure that it's over 25 horsepower. Uh, this here is your new uh, turn signal style 
Uh, it's completely redesigned. As you can see, they put some new in, um, options in here. So there's no more buttons for the lights. You got this notch here to adjust the air vents. So if you look carefully, these are your lights you can twist up for light on, twist down for automatic. And if you click this button on the side, it's gonna take you to the parking light settings here where you can actually turn on or off the parking lights, gives you some more adjustments for your lights. This here is your new jewel space. I don't even know what they call it, jewelry box, you know, light box. It's pretty neat. You got your key here, you got your M logo. As you can see, this lights up. It even changes uh, with the M type. So if we go back to my modes and I go to sport, you're gonna see this change to like a half red and half blue. It's pretty neat. Give it a second. That's really nice. You can put your phone there. And the reason why it's angled, um, I know Horatio said that it's probably angled so that you can like view it better, but I don't suggest that while you're driving. I personally think they, they put it like that so that um, when you accelerate, because this thing's so fast, when you accelerate, your your phone's not gonna be moving back and forth. It can, It's kind of like just staying there. It's not flat, but it's kind of just resting up on an angle. It's pretty neat. Uh, what's new with the iDrive 9 here? Pretty much we've seen it in the X2, literally the same, uh, just a bit faster. Your climate controls here. They're off right now. You got a quick way to go to certain sections of the iDrive. This has the drive recorder, interior camera, air console games. And the floor mats are just like the 5 Series where you got to push this. Ugh, pretty hard. You got to push that. Oh my gosh. So it's at, this, at the same time you push and pull. All right, so that's the new style floor mats. Just clicks back into place. The sunroof does not open, it's a fixed roof. It's a fixed glass. You can open and close the shade, but the roof itself does not move. Very, very nice design on the inside, if you ask me. Let's have a look at the back. Again, the same door handles. Got the Harman Kardon tweeter there. That's actually pretty neat. I've never seen them put the tweeter in the back here. They usually put Actually, this is not the tweeter. This is an actual speaker because they would usually have a speaker in the door and there's nothing on the bottom. So I can only assume that that's a speaker. This must be also a speaker and tweeter built in because there's nothing on the doors here. But nonetheless, got these new style headrest. That's pretty neat. It's a new design. You got space here for your knees if you're really tall and a uh, net pocket here that you can put some items and you also have your slot here where you can put in like a table, coat hanger, your travel package, that's pretty neat. I just noticed that the X3 is also equipped with the uh, sun blinds. It's pretty nice, I like that. And in the back you also have these pretty, not really hidden vents but you see them there and you've got the control vents here so you can turn it on and off, direct the air, heated seats, temperature, and two USB Type-C chargers. Pretty spacious trunk. And we've got the tunnel cover actually hidden in here. I wanted to show you that you can install this and uninstall it with literally just one hand. So you grab the handle here, we're gonna lift this up. All right, just like that. And we click that in place. Click that in place, boom, done. Literally one hand. I'm using one hand to film and one hand to do this. This is really, really convenient. Way better than any, any other model before. Now, let's put it away with one hand. We're gonna click here. We're gonna click here. Lift this up. Grab the handle. Slide it in here. Boom, done, look at that, so easy, love it. Oh, and there's also some more space back here. You get that by doing this, flipping it up, boom, look at that. You got some stowaway storage. Now let's see how much storage you have with the seats folded. Simply grab this handle here and just flick it forward. Same thing on this side. 
That's pretty spacious. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you like this video and you want to see more cool BMW videos like this, make sure that you're following us and you hit that bell notification. Until next time, this was Andre from BMW Blog at BMW Auto House. See you next time.